I always have leftover clay from whatever project I'm doing. And this stuff hardens really quickly, so I have to either use it or throw it out. And since I hate wasting things, I just use it. But I usually have a really limited time to figure out what I'm going to make before it hardens. So for some reason, my mind always goes to mushrooms. I have no idea why, but I've already made a few of these. So apparently I can't think of anything else. I don't know, maybe I was a mushroom in my past life. Can one be a mushroom? Maybe I was killed by a mushroom. Like a poisonous mushroom? Not like a murderous mushroom with a knife or anything. That would just be a little too far-fetched. But more like a, I was accidentally poisoned. Probably my own fault. I can't be the only one who wonders what things taste like. Or maybe I have a brain fungus and this is its way of saying hello. I mean, that's not likely, but I'm not ruling it out. I mean, how common are brain funguses, really? Do I need to be worried? I'm not worried. Are you worried? Because I'm not. That's probably not it. Although how crazy would it be if it was it? And somehow the fungus is communicating with me. Okay, I'm now giving that like a 10% chance. But I think it's more likely that I just like the look of mushrooms. And they're just really easy to sculpt and I'm lazy. Anyways, here's the mushroom I sculpted. Probably not with the help of a brain fungus. And I swear, this is not the brain fungus talking. More? You want more? You all are a bunch of weirdos. And I love you guys. So of course I'll do more. In fact, this is a commission. Can you believe that? Somebody's actually paying me to do this one. Hmm, if somebody's gonna pay me to do this, maybe I should quit my day job and become a full-time mushroom maker. Ooh, I could get a she shed and just sit out there all day making mushrooms. Ooh, ooh, it'd be a she shroom shed. She shroom shed. She shroom shed. Try saying that 10 times fast. No, seriously, try it. It's really hard. It's all right, I'll wait. In fact, while you're making a fool of yourself, do you wanna maybe follow me? I hate asking that question. It's like asking someone to be your friend or to go on a date with me. Awkward. Anyways, let's just pretend like I didn't ask that. And let's get back to the she shroom shred shack. So every time I make one of these videos, I always hashtag it mushroom. And all these crazy commenters come on my video trying to sell stuff. Look, I'm gonna hashtag this and see if you see any. I mean, they get deleted pretty quickly, but they can't be real people, right? And how, how do they do that? Is it some sort of robot doing this? It's super weird. I know they're trying to scam people and I hate it. So I'm just warning you, don't fall for it. Anyways, enough about that. Let's get on with this mushroom. And it looks like I'm finished. What do you think of my mushrooms? And should I make a she shed shroom shack? I don't know if that's a viable business plan, but I can dream, can't I? Don't you hate it when your eyeballs stick to your teeth? I know it's a real problem. Anyways, I'm back with some more leftover clay that I have to use up. You know, before it goes bad. Because once you mix the stuff, it hardens in like an hour or two. Can you guess what I'm making? No, really, guess. There's no way you can ever guess what I, yeah, that's right, I'm making another mushroom because we've all decided that that's what I do now with my leftover clay. I do mushrooms, I guess. Okay, I promise, the next time I have leftover clay, I'm not doing a mushroom. I'm not doing it. I'm probably gonna think of something better, maybe. Not that a mushroom isn't cool, I like mushrooms, but we all know it's my go-to thing when I can't think of a thing. And it's often that I can't think of a thing. I know, I know, I should write down my ideas, but that requires planning and ideas. I'm also a terrible procrastinator. So there's that too. Also, whenever I think of an idea, I want to actually do it. And then when I do it, I have leftover clay. So really, it's like a vicious cycle. So it's not really my fault. That's what I'm going with. It's not my fault. Anyways, here's my mushroom again. What do you think? And do you have any ideas that I can write down? I know you're expecting a mushroom video because that's what I do now is mushroom videos apparently. However, not today. I will not be a one trick pony, whatever that means. So I took inspiration from Emily here. Also, this person suggested it. I'm doing a Cyclops kitty. So I need to get my eyeballs out. Apparently Emily thinks those are her eyeballs. They're not. Hi. Okay, so on with the Cyclops kitty. So I'm getting the kitty face in, adding the eyeball. You can't have a Cyclops kitty without an eyeball. And of course the ears and its little mouth. And I don't want a floating head, so here's the body. Gotta give it a tummy rub. <clears throat> and of course the tail. Okay, and this is where it all went wrong. So as I'm adding the feet and re-adding the feet and trying to sculpt the feet into a feet-like shape, they started to look odd. But I thought nothing a little sculpting couldn't fix. But it only got worse and so much more worse and worse or yet until I just gave up and decided if our Cyclops kitty wants boobs instead of feet, I guess that's that's what's gonna happen. Who am I to tell anybody that they can't have boobs? I won't be a boob denier. Anyways, our Cyclops kitty is also going to be a ghost. Do you think instead of boo, she says boob? That was actually really sexist of me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Was it funny? It was kind of funny, right? Kind of, just a little bit. Okay, moving on. Well, since she's a ghost, she has to glow in the dark. I assume ghosts glow in the dark. Actually, I don't know. But here's what she looks like, and here's what she looks like in the dark. Hey, you know what? I'm pretty sure ghosts glow. How else would you see them in the dark? Anyways, what do you think? 
So I have some leftover clay and rather than waste it, I'm gonna use it up on this piece of wood. Now I know what you're thinking, Ashley, is this another octopus? Well, it's not. It's totally not another octopus. Look, I know it looks like an octopus, but it's not, okay? Look, it's got a face and not an octopusy face either. It's more like a meat eating plant face. See, look at these teeth. Do octopus have these teeth? No, they don't. And you know what? It's not a mushroom either. See, I can make things that aren't mushrooms or octopuses. Sorta. I mean, it looks like an octopus with a plant face, but th that's besides the point. It's not an octopus, okay? You know, for content that's not an octopus, I say the word octopus a lot. I'm gonna do my best not to say that word anymore in this video, but no promises. So what do you want to talk about since we can't say octop- I mean, that word. How's the weather in your area? Okay, I'm bored. Let's just talk about the painting since you're here watching me paint this not a word. So I'm just painting the leaves and the tentacles of this plant and then my filming skills are really terrible here so i just sped it up because apparently i can't film and do art at the same time oh, look it's really hard to keep your hands out of the way while using your hands okay and then half the time i forget i'm even filming anyways i think having a meat eating plant would be kind of handy it'd be like your garbage disposal that you'd have to be really careful with because it could eat you okay i'm rethinking the handiness it's actually going to be terrifying especially if it dangled the cake in front of you like the cow plant on the sims okay maybe not if it's cake because i'm not really into cake unless we're talking about cake the band. I'm really into them. But it'd be kind of hard to dangle cake the band in front of me. But if it were sushi, I would be dead immediately. I love sushi. I would fall for any kind of sushi trap. Anyways, this turned out to be a really weird video. Sorry about that. But thanks for sticking it out to the end. You guys rock. And what do you guys think of my not an octopus plant? I'm going on vacation for the first time in like five years. And for some reason, I hate writing my out of office. So somebody suggested that I use chatbot. So I thought, what the heck, let's give it a go. At first I came up with some really lame stuff. So I had to replace the word office with art studio. And when I did that, it got weird. Here's what it came up with. Greetings and salutations. What is a salutation? Anyways, thank you for contacting my art studio. I am currently out of the art studio, possibly off somewhere trying to find a muse or at least some coffee. Does it think that all artists are just in really into coffee? Cause I don't know, maybe, maybe we are, but it seems pretty accusatory. Anyways, I will be away from the studio until date, possibly wandering aimlessly around the city. Wait, why would I be wandering around a city? What a weird thing to say. Okay, continuing, but don't worry, I'll be back before you can say abstract, abstract expressionism abstract expressionism. Well, nobody can say that. Come on. If you have urgent inquiries, inquiries. Okay. It's just me. I can't say words. Please contact my assistant who is always happy to help. Who is my assistant? I need to get their number because I didn't know they were assisting me. And how do we know that they're happy? Maybe they're miserable. So bold of you to assume. Thank you for understanding. And I look forward to creating some masterpieces for you soon. If your request can wait, I'll be back to you as soon as I am back. Well, duh. If it can't wait, please seek out another artist for the job. Okay, that's kind of rude, but I might even just leave the assistant part and then not leave a way to contact them. Or no, I could put my cats as the assistant. I'll put however they are cats and they lack thumbs required for typing. Okay, I'm definitely using that. Unless, do you think it's kind of rude? Would you be offended? Mm -hmm.